You could be wiser as an educated advisor. Hello, everyone. I'm Steve Savant, syndicated financial columnist and Money Color Commentator. On today's show, Building a Financial Team, part four of our series on consumer financial awareness, the financial advisor and president of the Society for Financial Awareness, Jim Chilton. All here on Let's Get Down to Business. Well, welcome to segment four, Jim. Thank you. Uh, we're going to pivot a bit here. We're going to go over and talk about building a team. You know, I, I, I'm always, as a planner, and I've been in this thing 35 years, uh, we need a quarterback of the whole team. We need people, maybe uh, fiduciaries, CPAs, attorneys. I might need to outsource my securities to people who do that. I need a PC connection because I don't do property casually. Sure. I'm forming my team. We don't think about the team building, though, in the way you think about it. And it's totally different. And I found it to be unique and really off the beating path. You use a phrase, RC2 or RC squared, yeah, right? that's it. Let's talk about RC squared first because it's the premise of the entire segment. Correct. You know, it's easy. We always talk about integrity and, and eagerness and doing the right thing and making the right choices. And that's a given. Mm -hmm. But the foundation of SOFA is RC squared. R is relationships. Everything that we build our organization on as a member is based on the relationship that me that member has with their natural market, okay? Because those are the people that work somewhere, worship somewhere, and usually belong to something. And those three things are what we call the fishing holes, where they work, where they worship, and where they belong. We already have a relationship mm -hmm. with them. We share with them that by joining SOFA, that we're a member of SOFA, and our mission is to end financial illiteracy, one community at a time, across America, uh, okay? So what we do is we enroll those people to become our advocates, all right? And so our first step in SOFA membership is going solo to learn it. Mm -hmm. But we make a dramatic shift after the first 60 days. They've, taught, they've learned, you know, they make mistakes, they learn the lessons how to go out into the community, how to put on workshops, how to do one on group. Mm -hmm. Then immediately we pivot and say, have you ever been on a camping trip and got stuck carrying the water to the campsite? Mm -hmm. If you did and your arms are killing you, why would you ever go it alone after you know how to camp? So we then build teams. Mm -hmm. We call them a clump, like a clump of grapes, uh, okay? And our advisors, uh, we have found are the natural leaders of it. And then we secure an estate planning attorney to talk about wills and trusts, an accountant or an enrolled agent, a realtor, a mortgage broker, health and wellness professional. And then from that group, they have their natural market and they convert their people to advocates and become nominators. Mm -hmm. And those nominators go back to where they work, go back to where they worship, go back to where they belong and are the pitch men mm -hmm that allow us to get into where they work, where they worship, where they belong, and we have a team. Um, and it's like, Steve, a panzer division mm -hmm. going into the community and doing workshop after workshop after workshop, going in as the invited guest mm -hmm. versus having to pay the freight mm -hmm. by being a host. When I first told you that, you went, wow. I said, huge difference. Mm -hmm. But that's the uniqueness of SOFA creating nominators from your natural market mm -hmm. and then getting these other professionals they join sofa they learn mm -hmm. how to do sofa and away we go yeah you it's a great it. way to get in you redefine something for me here i mean not only the first time i talked about them now it's even coming more crystal clear uh, this issue of being nominated is not the same as getting a referral absolutely give me, give me a real quick yin and yang on sure that. sure i grew up in the business and was told that a referral is the greatest thing you can get after probably about three years of you know just beating your head against the wall, I personally came to the realization that a referral is nothing more than a name and a phone number and you make a cold call and hope that the listener, you know what I mean, is mm -hmm. in a good mood at the time you call, you know, aren't too prejudiced against a sales guy calling, you know, and trying to get in by using that name. I ended that a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I would say to you, Steve, I appreciate Fred Flintstone, you've given me Fred's name. I think that's great, and of course you know I'll do the same work for him and his wife as I've done for you. However, I'm not going to be put in a position of calling the guy who doesn't even know me. The relationship is between you and him. You nominate me mm -hmm. to him. He trusts you. 
He'll say mm-hmm. to you, sure, have the guy call me. You then get to back to me, and mm-hmm. then I'll call Fred. Mm-hmm. And I'll introduce him. Wait a minute. You're Steve's guy? He told me about you. we got to get together. Mm-hmm. And so that is so natural that then when I come back to you and I tell you about Sofa, and I go, you know, I, I need your help. Well, name it. And I don't need any of your money. And they're like, mm-hmm. well, what do you need? Well, you know, where you work, where you worship, what you belong to. I would like an introduction for you to be able to talk to the decision maker and get back to me. So then I can give them that mm-hmm. call. And then as well, my teammates, the estate planning mm-hmm. attorney, the accountant, the realtor, the mortgage broker, the health and wellness person, they're doing the same thing. Do you have any idea mm-hmm. the impact of exposure, of gaining access, getting into companies and churches and organizations? Let me give you a few examples. Disney, we're all over it. NASA, the FBI, the court system, Northrop Grumman, almost every city and county government in America, Sony, Hewlett Packard, I mean, Qualcomm, we're getting into places and staying in there year after year, not by a guy making a a cold call over and over and sending direct mail in there. We're getting in because in Qualcomm, someone who we know who's in our natural market works there. Mm -hmm. They go to the HR person. Then that gets back to us. We make an appointment and we get in and see them. Mm -hmm. It's a phenomenal way to get in. Well, I like the idea of not only being nominated, but I also like the promotion of team membership. You know, you, I have many people, We just you just named some people, whether it's PC yeah. or securities or yeah. whatever, yeah. attorneys for estate planning, the docs that are going to need to be drawn up. All those things are so important. And I want to promote, for especially for clients, when they see that the issue, issue here is I have a very altruistic nature about me about teaching and educating. Absolutely. I want people to know. Especially my generation. You need to join reti- SOFA. I, I, I'm joined <laughs> so. I guess I'm joined so. I, I really want my my listeners, especially my own baby boomer brethren, so to speak. Absolutely. I really want them to get it because they're really between a rock and a hard place right now. They're paying their parents LTC. They're paying their kids tuition. They haven't paid their mortgage off. They're in the we're the generation that have broken all the rules and some of these rules we should have kept. So we're now we're we're paying for that. So when I'm talking about getting into certain places. The educational scene is so huge. HR is letting you in. The church is letting you in. The other organizations, maybe fraternal, like Koanas or whatever, they're letting you in, if I'm understanding correctly, because you're an educator. But let's, wait a minute, let's hit the, before we run out of time, Department of Labor 404C, mm-hmm. okay? Half the HR people in America, they get their pen out like you're doing, mm-hmm. I, I know, what is that? Uh, okay, there are requirements and when the fidelity guy or gal comes out for that 401k, mm-hmm. it's not uh, non-proprietary. It's mm-hmm. totally proprietary. Mm-hmm. And when that rep says, oh, it's time to get out of bonds because the market's taken off mm-hmm. and you need to get out of that and get into this global growth fund, they're selling. Mm-hmm. The Department of Labor says you're selling. Mm-hmm. That is not non-proprietary education. Mm-hmm. It's not generic. SOFA comes in and says, we're not in competition with the HR person, with the Fidelity mm-hmm. Group at all. We're, everything we're providing is non-proprietary, generic. Mm-hmm. And we get in there and do a phenomenal job covering the requirements of 404C. And if you talk to any educator, uh, okay, that has gotten in there, okay, and done that, and that, per, that HR person had a spot on it, and they said, well, what are you doing for 404C? And they show a SOFA program where we've covered all these mm-hmm. other issues that are non-selling, non-product, and mm-hmm. generic. I love it. I really appreciate the ability to go in to human resources of any company and sure. of any size and say we're here to educate and do really good things for the client and the consumer. I really love that. Yeah. And we are agnostic. We don't care what product. We're just talking the educational side of this equation. Yeah. So we want to bring people up to speed. And you're taking off a huge liability of the HR person. 404C is brutal. If you ever go to war in arbitration or litigation, you're going to get your head handed to you. They're very tough now about HR personnel having an understanding of what their obligations are. So it's a big issue. Listen, I don't want you to forget our next segment coming up partnering with other financial fiduciaries, some of the things we're talking about right now. Part five of our series on consumer financial awareness. And keep in mind, 
Before moving forward with any of the ideas, always talk with your tax and some legal counsel. I think I'll throw in HR on the side. And don't forget, you can subscribe to my consumer show, Steve Savant's Money, the name of the game. Daily content you can post on your website, social media accounts, database distribution. I'm Steve Savant. Thanks for watching.